Judge Hector LaSalle making his first public appearance today since his nomination for chief judge was rejected by a state Senate committee. All right, Fox 5's Morgan Mackay was hoping to speak with him today, but he refused. She's in the newsroom now, and I saw some of the video posted on Twitter, Morgan. It was sort of a chaotic situation there. You're exactly right, Stephen Natasha. You might have thought this battle was over by now, but so far, Governor Kathy Hochul and Republicans are refusing to accept the Senate Judiciary Committee's rejection of Judge Hector LaSalle. We tried to catch up with him today, but he blocked our attempts. Judge, what's your, what's your comment? Judge Hector LaSalle appearing for the first time publicly since his nomination for chief judge was rejected by the Senate Judiciary Committee. But he refused to respond or even acknowledge our questions. Do you have anything you'd like to say about the process, sir? LaSalle was being honored at a New York State Bar Association event, which Fox 5 News was invited to attend. Regardless, LaSalle's security then tried to physically block us from entering the main event room where we had been just moments before. Um, we've been in here already. Um, you can't wait. <laughs> Although the nomination was struck down in committee, the fight to appoint LaSalle to this top spot seems far from over. Governor Kathy Hochul says she is considering legal action to force a full vote by the state Senate. You know, we're certainly weighing all of our options. Typically, if a bill fails in committee, it does not proceed to the full Senate for a vote. But former Chief Judge Jonathan Lippman argues that in this case, it's required. It is without any doubt whatsoever that Senate rules cannot trump the state constitution. Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousins released a harsh statement, seemingly in response to Hochul, saying, quote, This ongoing attack makes it clear that there are those that don't accept the Senate's role in this process and will not be happy unless we simply act as a rubber stamp. This is a dangerous infringement of the separation of powers. Law expert Christopher Bopp says this is far from a clear-cut case. Historically, courts have not gotten into micromanaging how legislative branches conduct their business, but, you know, but it's, this is an unusual circumstance, so it's really tough to say what, uh, what ultimately the courts might do with this. So what's next depends on who you talk to. First, not only is Hochul threatening legal action, but so are Senate Republicans. Going to show just how divisive this pick is. But according to Senate Democrats, the process of nominating a chief judge needs to start all over again back at square one. Steve Natasha. All right, to be continued. Thanks, Morgan.